morning, and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Molly McCowan. And I'm Maddie Rupp. Today is Tuesday, May 16th, and is an A day. Today's weather forecast is cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 65. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing or take your seats for a moment of silence. For today's lunch, you can expect French bread pizza, a chip and dip cafe box, or a sandwich shack grab and go. Tomorrow we have smart sliced cheese or pepperoni pizza or teriyaki chicken. Attention National Honor Society members. Your last meeting of the year is in the auditorium on Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Please be on time. If you do not attend or communicate with Mr. Lessig that you have to miss the meeting, you will no longer be considered a member of the NHS. Underclassmen. Don't forget that there is an HBCU open house happening tomorrow night at Grassfield. Students from all schools are invited. Don't miss the chance to talk to some really great schools about the HBCU experience. Attention class of 2023. If you have any pictures or videos from the last four years that you want to be featured in the senior video, please email them to amanda.steadley at cpschools.com ASAP. Please make sure they're school appropriate. We continue celebrating Mental Health Awareness Month with some more mental health information. Today we have some great tips for mental health. Try setting goals, make sleep a priority, try exercising, go outside, and leave negativity behind. There will be an interest meeting for Friends of Rachel this Thursday at 8.15 in room 406. Come learn a little about what Friends of Rachel is all about and how we spread a little kindness. And now we have Lily Hastings with our sports update from last week's games and competitions. Happy Tuesday, Wildcats. I'm Lily Hastings. Last week was busy for the Wildcats, so let's get into it. Monday, varsity softballs had a close 3-2 win versus Greenbrier Christian in nine innings. Hannah Farrell had a home run. Hannah Higgins went three for four, and Gabby Clyer hit in the winning run. Then Tuesday was a big day for Wildcats. Starting off the week, boys varsity soccer defeated Indian River 5-0. They were led by Carson Danner with a hat trick. Big night for baseball and softball. Varsity took down Braves 12-2. Dawson Newman, Adam Bartley, and Calvin Mabry drove in multiple runs, and Bartley got a home run. JV also had a big win, 21-4. Softball took the win 20-0. Hannah Farrell and Kaylin Bettist had four hits and Scarlett Traver had three. Quinn Thompson pitched a one-hitter and had seven strikeouts. On the JV field, the girls won 12-0. Chloe McGuire pitched a complete game, one hitter, and Chloe Powell, Leigh Bell, and Tia Zomber had, a, had all scored for the Wildcats. While boys tennis lost in a close matchup, Amadua DeWire, Grayson Roy, at Owen Hill, and J.P. Zano all had wins. The girls once again dominated the court and won 9-0. Wednesday, the track team competed against Nansman. Our own Daniela Clayton qualified for regionals in the girls' long jump with a jump of 15 feet and 9 inches, scoring in the top 8 in the Southern Eastern District. Chadison Cohen ran a 400-meter dash with a personal best time of 48.87 seconds, making him the fastest junior in Virginia for the 400-meter dash. Then Thursday, boys' tennis fell victim to the Hawks, but similar to Tuesday, J.P. Zano and Owen Hill were able to secure the win in their double match. Meanwhile, in girls' tennis, they were able to secure the win 6-3, winning the district championship. They had four wins in singles and two in doubles. That's all, Wildcats. Now back to Mal Molly and Addie for the rest of the morning announcements. Great job, Wildcats. Hey, Addie, do you know what time it is? I don't know. What? Time for the joke, which is brought to you by the JV Girls Soccer Team. 
Hey Addy, what's the difference between a lousy soccer team and the Bermuda Triangle? I don't know, Molly. What? At least the Bermuda Triangle has three points. Oh, burn! <laughs> nice one, Molly. We need more of these hilarious jokes, so scan that QR code. That's all for today, Wildcats. I'm Addy Rom. And I'm Molly McCowan. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day. <laughs>